Hello everyone, my name is Anael. I'm a SSI dive master and a paddy rescue diver. You might notice that I said SSI and paddy at the beginning of uh, my scuba titles. That's because these are the scuba school that I'm affiliated with. There is many different scuba school and as a beginner it might be quickly difficult to understand which scuba school you might fit better in and you might be a bit lost so I want to do this video to give you a bit of advice on my personal understanding of the different scuba school. I'm going to talk about PADI, SSI and the French Federation uh, because these are the ones I worked with. The French Federation, this might be something similar to something in the country so I really wanted to give you something different that you can have too. So I started diving when I was about 10 and I started diving with a paddy. So I was a junior open water diver and I started diving in France and then when I was 18 I went to Malta to start taking a course as a dive master and the scuba school I was working with was with SSI so I switched with SSI. Now I'm an SSI dive master of Dive Guide and both my sister and Nicolas have been taking some um, French Federation class so I can talk about these two to show you what's different and what's similar between those scuba school. So what's the difference between PADI and SSI? They work basically the same. The graduation system to go from beginner to professional diver is quite the same. The difference between these two, and I think that this is the main reason why so many scuba schools are switching to SSI, is because if you have enough money, you can be a dive master within a month with PADI, Whereas uh, with SSI you have this time uh, approach that you have to take consideration so I think you need more time than one month to become a dive master so that's why also I prefer to be an SSI dive master for that um, time consideration. One major difference also between PADI and SSI uh, are the dive logs and I prefer paddy dialogues which are this whereas SSI dialogues look like that so this one is really cool because you have one space at the back to put stamps and stuff like whereas on the paddy ones we just have to stamp on there and as you can see my dialogue is quite messy like that but I mean a Dive profile is quite the same. If you won't have paddy refill either than SSI one, you can. And if you prefer the system for the SSI, you can switch. Uh, the cost for the level are quite the same. There is no difference. SSI is part of the Maris group. So as a dive professional with SSI, you might have to sell Maris equipment more than any other equipment. That really depends on your dive center. So. That's something you might have to take in consideration if you're trying to be a dive professional, if you're not a fan of married stuff. And also Paddy is quite is still the most famous dive school that you might have all around the globe. So if you live in an area that doesn't recognize adult SSI, like in France, there is no I mean there is three or four dive centers that recognize SSI in France. So that might not be the best option for you. Paddy is quite recognized in France. But the main scuba diving entity in France is uh, the French Federation. And I'm going to talk about it uh, right now. But as I said before, both my sister and Nicolas has been there. What I liked about Paddy and, uh, and SSI was that you could level up wherever you wanted uh, on the planet. like. I had my open water in Chandrus, I had my advanced port 1 in Britain and part 2 in the Caribbean and I had my dive master with SSI in Malta, so like wherever I wanted but with the French system you have to be affiliated with a club uh, that has to be in your city and you go there 
diving every week. It doesn't have to be diving every week, but you can have theory or you can have like swimming lessons uh, in a week in your local swimming pool. Nick and my sister were happy about that because it gave them regular training, like every week they were going to dive or at least swim. And it gave them from where they belonged to, like they had a group and they knew they were going to dive with them, they had several buddies, and they were going in groups uh, in excursion, which is something you don't have that much with Spadi and SSI. Several times when I was working in Malta, I had to explain to the other staff member what they, their level were. They haven't got like open water or advanced. They had level one, level two, level four, and on and on. So it was really complicated to explain them because for example, the first level is between the open water and the advanced water because they were trained all year they were able to go deeper than the open water one but not as deep as the advanced one so if you have a local level make sure to know the equivalency to the paddy or the SSI one because you won't have always someone who is familiar with your uh, system so sometimes you might be denied diving or you might have to prove or do an equivalency which is not something very cool if you're here in vacation and you want to dive I can understand that the last thing I want to point out is that the French system and the, I think all the local system will have that have a diving insurance with their annual registration which is not offered with a SSI or PADI system you might have to purchase an additional insurance which is really important I might do a video about that uh, if you want so yeah this is it I hope I cover all the points if you have any more questions about those scuba school or any school that you might be questioning yourself about joining please leave them in the comment section below I'll be really happy to help you with that um, you can also tell me in the section comment section which scuba school you choose and why maybe you have some point that I didn't thought about and if you like this video give it a thumbs up feel free to share it with your friend who wants to start scuba diving but who's not sure about which one uh, to choose and I see you in the next one bye